All right, so I'm gonna open up and show how to disassemble this ASUS model Q302L. So first what you wanna do is remove all the screws. So this will be all snapped in place and put it back. So remove the screws from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I found it's easiest to remove from the back here. So you just use your fingernails and grab and pull it up just like that. So as you see, it comes off pretty easily. Okay. Then um, there's the hard drive here, held in place by four screws. Um, first, you want to remove the battery and then hold the power button. So to remove the battery, you just get your fingernails under the connector here, and then you can just pull it up just like that. Okay, so it's disconnected. Hold the power button to drain any power just to be safe. All right, um, and then you got the hard drive here, and again, held by four screws. This connector just comes out just like that. Um, so if you need to ch take the hard drive out, that's how you would remove it. You can upgrade it to an SSD if you want. Um, this is a two and a half inch um, SATA. So let me put this connector back. All right. Then the whole board here with the power button, the volume buttons, the Windows key, and the SD card slot, the USB port, they're actually all separate from the main board. So if this breaks, you can actually replace this whole board. And then also the cable is replaceable here. You got the fan held in place by these three screws and the connectors right here to remove that you just use your fingernails and then just grab it wiggle it and eventually it'll pop out just keep wiggling it and pulling um, then you got this connector here this is the hard drive connector of course that connects to the board you just pull it up with this black tab um, if it gets stuck you can get your fingernail underneath um, uh, the metal piece and then you can kind of pull it while you're pulling this um, then the wireless antenna, there's one screw. When you take it out, it'll pop up at an angle and then you can just wiggle it out. Um, the antenna cables, you just pull from the tail, pull it up and they'll come out at an angle as well. Don't try and pry from the front because you can damage them. All right, then you got the, I believe this is the trackpad connector, um, the, the keyboard backlight connector, the keyboard connector. And then um, I'm not sure what this one is for. I don't see anything specific, but um, then you got the RAM underneath here. Let's see. So the RAM, you can pry it up. There's little parts that stick out from this metal shield. And you can pry it up just like that. So the type of RAM here is DDR3. So as you can see, PC3-12800S. All right. So there's also some RAM solder to the board, so you can only upgrade one of the sticks. Um, then you got the CMOS battery. You can take that out just like the other fan connector. You just grab the edges of the connector and kind of wiggle to pull it out. You got the fan, I mean the speaker connector here that runs along, so both speakers. Oh, okay, I see. I believe this might be the trackpad because there's the LED connector here, so that cable is probably going to this one here. Okay. And you got the LCD connector, you remove it the same way as the hard drive connector. You just pull the black tab, and then if it's not coming out, you can pry it with your fingernail here. Okay, and that's about it. Um, there's not much else for me to show here. Um, but yeah, uh, the battery, of course, it's held in with a few screws. But um, yeah, hopefully this video helped you see what's uh, underneath the cover of your computer. And if you needed to upgrade the RAM or the hard drive or disconnect something else, then it should help. Um, if it did, please like and subscribe because that will help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.